my little peaches, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, hello, how are you doing? Please remember to stay hydrated. We are gonna be doing something very fun today and this video was actually brought on by you guys. So big thank you to everyone that tagged me in a tweet by an incredible Sims builder called, Claire's pronunciation wins again. Okay, Julia. And Julia built Harry Potter's Hogwarts in The Sims 4. You guys went crazy for this. It actually got a lot of love online as well. It looks literally mind-blowing incredible. And what we're going to be doing today is giving it a little tour. I think that there's a lot of special, like, animations in this as well. The glows and stuff I think are going to look particularly good in live mode. So we are going to try and tour this in live mode. Now, I've messaged Julia and asked, would you be happy for me to react to your build and she was like yes that would be incredible i've watched her videos for years so she's happy for us to go ahead and take a look at it today and i've actually done this in a few videos in the past i've done this with disney build in the past as well and i've also done this with another incredibly talented builder called sati sims as well so if you want to check out either of those two videos check out the links in the description below and also i've dropped a link to julia's channel you can check out her video where she explains how she built all of this incredible build from the ground up to create the iconic hogwarts in the sims 4 and you can also check out all of her creations on the gallery using Gilia builds as well. Julia, Julia builds. There we go, my pronunciation's awful. So let's first of all go ahead and show you guys Julia builds its full catalog, which I always like to do when I discover a brand new builder. And wow, 615 of you guys have already downloaded this. We've also got for Cottage Living, a big country home, which just looks absolutely beautiful. <gasps> a beautiful Scandinavian home. This one's had 11,000 downloads. That's beautiful. Honestly, some people are just so talented at building. We've got this modern platforms home as well here, I guess to celebrate platforms coming out. We've got some base game apartments as well, which look great, only using the base game of The Sims 4. The lighting win on this screenshot here. Big base game family home. And I kind of love very like industrial builds. So this factory here really caught my eye as well. And also actually has spiral staircases in it, which are apparently functional as well, which we might have to check out in another video. But today we are going for the Hogwarts build. So this is Hogwarts in The Sims 4. The value of this is almost 1 million simoleons and it also comes fully furnished with some of the iconic things you will know from the Harry Potter series including the Gryffindor common room, some of the classrooms as well and Julia spent months working on this build and now you guys can go ahead and download it. It does use things from a lot of packs but there is no custom content in this so you should be able to download it and try it out in your games as well. What I can't promise is how well it will run because whenever I do these big huge builds my PC likes to grind to a halt, so we'll check out how we go with that as well. Now, it felt right that if we were going to be doing a Hogwarts build, we should go ahead and use Hogwarts characters. Now, a long time ago, I made the Hogwarts trio. I actually don't think all of this quantum content even exists in my game anymore. And 4,000 of you guys did give this a go. So I think we will grab our Gryffindor trio and go ahead and add them to Hogwarts. Now, I've placed this on Henford upon Bagley. Henford on Bagley, just because it's the world that's meant to be based based on England and Hogwarts is kind of meant to be somewhere in Britain. I actually, I'm not 100% fully sure where. For me, it has very strong Scottish vibes, but we should look that up. Let's look that up. <gasps> it is meant to be in the Scottish Highlands. Maybe some part of my brain remembered that. Okay, which, you know, if you say to a Scottish person, oh, I put it in here because it's England, it's basically the same. No, it's not. Very offensive. Don't say that. However, it's the closest we're going to get. So I've placed it in the only 64 by 64 lot in the whole of Henford upon Bagley, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and send them there and see what it's like. Now, you may think there's a big issue here. If you ever run across this issue, what you can do is type in free real estate on, and then you can move your Sims into any estate. Like literally, it's the dream. You can move them wherever you want, no matter what money they've got. And let's see just how long it takes to load into this lot. Three weeks later. Okay, this... This is to be expected. There's an awful lot of items there. I'm not sure if Julia uses tool, which is what Sati Sims was using and what I've sometimes used on my stories that I've told you guys on my channel as well. But I'm thinking most likely yes. It basically lets you rotate objects anywhere you want, place them in very specific and special ways, resize them and do a bunch of other extra special stuff to them as well. Check out my Sati Sims video if you haven't already because it will explain everything in a little bit of detail for you guys there. And let's see how this looks. Okay, okay. I didn't think it was that kind of film. Hermione has immediately switched to Hufflepuff and the boys are half naked, but it's fine. I don't really need you guys. I just needed the lot. No freaking way. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted immediately. Let's just go ahead and look at the whole lot. Okay, my game is running. 
surprisingly well for how big this is. And it looks absolutely amazing. Am I fully at the top floor? I think I am. Let me spin around to this side as well. This is so, so cool. So I've been to the Harry Potter studios in the UK where you can see a lot of the stuff behind the set. And one thing they have, which is amazing, is they have the miniature Hogwarts. I say miniature. It's the size of a room. It's absolutely huge, but it's obviously miniature compared to the real castle. And they actually filmed a lot of things for Harry Potter on this miniature sized one. And when you see it, you're like, your mind is blown. I stood and stared at it for like a good few. They do like a day night rotation. So you can can see all the lights switch on. I went ahead and stared at it for several rotations because my mind was blown away and honestly I kind of love miniature things. So this is really cool because it's kind of like seeing that again but this time in Sims. And I feel like already I can see some cool things happening through the window. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if these are gonna move. They are. Things are gonna be moving and looking all wispy and magical. Okay brilliant. So the other thing that I noticed as soon as I got here is of course the Weasley's uh, car in the Whomping Willow, which of course isn't usually that close to Hogwarts, but we are kind of restrained by the size of the lot here. And it's just like little features like that, that when I when I told the Disney builds, I got really excited when I saw stuff from the movies. This makes me feel the exact same way. And I am a huge Harry Potter nerd. I'm a millennial and I like to pretend that um, my school was Hogwarts. I like to pretend so I could escape my like school life. So for me, there is a lot of nostalgia and emotion attached to Hogwarts and you know it was my escape in a very real way so to see it in all of its beautiful detail like this is just incredible we've also got uh what I'm assuming is going to be Hagrid's little uh cottage on the outside here as well complete with a whole garden full of pumpkins can we have a little nosy inside is it like fully fully decorated oh my gosh it is it actually is, and uh, was there some little particles going on there? Oh no, they're the candles. Okay, go ahead, let me go back inside. Here is inside little Hag uh, Hagrid's cabin. Little Hagrid's cabin here as well, with his little bedroom in the back, which I don't think I've ever thought about the fact that he would need like his own space for stuff. And there would obviously be a bedroom at the back of the cottage. Yeah, for some reason, I just never thought about that, but honestly straight away just a beautiful amount of attention to detail no wonder this took months Dude, this is amazing literally amazing we've also got a beautiful little pond here as well i feel like a lot of the stuff from cottage living is making this really sing because you can add all of like the goop in the pond there you can add i think maybe I can't tell if the dragonflies are from jars, but I actually think they might be the co from Cottage Living. And the pumpkins and stuff are from Cottage Living too. But literally, we're still on the outside. They're making their way up into the rest of the castle here. Okay, this is, I'm gonna put the walls on and I'm gonna literally become a student of Hogwarts and I'm gonna kind of like view the castle. Should I go in through this entrance or the other side? I'm kind of not sure. I kind of feel like this might bring us into the Great Hall. And I feel like that's the best way to enter Hogwarts. So I'm gonna go in from this side and let's see how it all looks. Okay, so in my head, it's this way in. Okay, so we've got a classroom. There's probably gonna be a bunch of classrooms, let's face it, or a library. We've got a library on the first floor, but through these doors. <gasps> okay, no, this is, this is not the entrance I was picturing in my head but it's almost even better because I was the most excited to see all of the classrooms. And we've got another classroom here as well. Literally, look at everything. Honestly, it makes me realize how much stuff we've got now when you combine like Realm of Magic and Paranormal that you can really make a very, very convincing Hogwarts. Like, and the wands on the table and the quills and the pens and the books and oh my gosh literally love 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 and then up here we've got the teacher's office too i'm trying to like in my head picture like what all the classrooms are because this one they're combining a bunch of stuff together but there's no cauldrons so i'm not oh what are you stealing harry what did you just put in your inventory i don't even know so it's not potions hmm let's have a look at some of the other classrooms it might help us work it out library classroom we've got another room to probably like so many rooms are like great places to do your homework and stuff we've got a swimming pool as well oh my gosh the staircases oh 
The moving staircases. This is honestly making me realize I need to pick up these books and read them again because I've not read them in so long. I always thought this would be the most irritating thing because obviously the staircases in Hogwarts all move. So when you're walking up them, they'll just change direction, which I honestly would find incredibly annoying, but I guess it would help you find a bunch of cool new rooms. And also obviously the paintings, loads of paintings on the wall. In Hogwarts, of course, they like to switch in between frames and go and visit each other, but they're all on their best behavior right now. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh, look at this. So, I think we've just found another little um, Easter egg from the movies. I probably am about to butcher this spell uh, pronunciation again, but I think this is meant to be the Mirror of Ezered, which obviously appears in the first? The first Harry Potter movie, pretty important towards the end, and to get to it at the end, the trio have to get past the three-headed dog, which I'm guessing this, uh, <laughs> This gargoyle here is kind of supposed to represent, but the mirror would show you like your deepest desires. So Harry saw the faces of his uh, parents. He saw his parents in the mirror because the thing he wanted the most was his family back. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. What do you think you guys would see if you looked in the mirror? I'm pretty hungry right now, so it'd probably be pizza. And let's see where the staircases lead to. So we've got another little mini classroom up here. <gasps> Oh my gosh, and I know, I know what this is supposed to be. So, in the movies, the Gryffindor common room. Wait, is there actual- how is that there? Do I have some CC? Does this already- because I don't understand how that is on the wall. I don't understand. But, obviously, to get into the Gryffindor common room, you had to say a password to the painting at the door, in which case it would open up, and then you would be able to get into the Gryffindor common room. Only Gryffindors would know the password. So this right here is the Gryffindor common room, which is so cool. Oh, these little things don't animate, which I thought they might, but we do have some potions in here animating. Someone's trying to make a love potion. We've also got a cauldron in the corner and obviously the sofas in front of the fireplace that they often mention in the book, sitting around and having little discussions. We've got some floating books there as well. And this is just the, again, the attention to detail is wild. We've got a little Nimbus 2000 leaning on the wall, on the chair there as well. If we go upstairs, will it actually go like into the common rooms? Or into the bedroom, should I say? Let's give it a go. Let me go upstairs here. And through here. Oh, yeah, it's the dorms. It's the dorms. I think we, do we only ever see the dorms, like the boys' dorms? I think we do, because obviously it's all told from Harry's point of view. So this is where Harry and Ron would have been sleeping as well. <gasps> this is so cool. If there's a little rat in here, I will be, is there any like little rats that you could put on? Oh, I thought we might see like a rat under one of the beds and I'd be like, oh, that, that must be Ron's. But that's so cool. I love all the books like floating suspended in the air. I think that's so clever. And obviously we've got like the Quidditch banners on the walls oh wait a minute we've got some cups there as well okay if we've got some like cups and we've got the banner on the wall maybe this is harry's bed oh <gasps> and obviously yeah because he got hedwig in the corner as well nice Maybe this one over here is Ron's because he joins the team later on as well. And the wand on the floor and everything. This is so cool. I got like, my face is just beaming the whole time. Okay, let's see where we can go next. Oh my gosh, they've got their own toilets and everything. It's like so functional. Like what? Ooh. And we got some interesting noises going on here. What room is this? Oh, no way. You're not meant to be in here. This seems like it's the Ravenclaw common room. Have all of the houses got their own common rooms? Like, what? Because this is the Ravenclaw one. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Literally, you've done all of the house's common rooms. No freaking way. The time? The time is actually so impressive. Wow. Okay. We'll tour all of the common rooms. I need you guys to comment or like somebody else's comment if they've picked the same house as you would pick or comment your house. I want to know which Harry Potter house you guys are in. And whenever I test myself, I always get Gryffindor, but I always want it to be in Slytherin. Not in school. In school, I went to Gryffindor, but then when I got older, my favorite color was green. I'm like, I want to be in Slytherin, but I always get Gryffindor. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. And earlier on, I was like, oh, look, there's a swimming pool. It's kind of just occurred to me, although there's no girl's bathroom attached to it or any bathroom at all, but it could be, um, you know, the pool that Harry goes to during the Goblet of Fire to like figure out how to breathe underwater. 
That could be that pool. I just suddenly thought it might be. It's like a prefects only pool. Oh, I bet it is. I bet this is like the prefects lounge and then that's the prefects only pool. Or like the prefects only bathroom. That feels right. That sounds right to me. And have we just discovered another common room? Underneath there, there's like some ladders leading down, uh, some stairs leading down here. And I think inside of here, it is. It's the, it's the house I wish I was in. Just because I love the color, I think, guys, it might be a bit dangerous, but I think we're in the Slytherin. We are in the Slytherin common room, which I actually think that they do go in. Yeah, Slytherin, there we go. I think they do go in the Slytherin common room during Harry Potter because they pretend to be Krabby and Goyle, don't they? And they use the Polyjuice potion. So this was actually in the books, at least. And then he... <gasps> It's so green! Oh my gosh, I love it. Love, 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 love. A little ghosty by the bed there. That's from Paranormal. We've got potions. We've got... So oh, some, some dark potion there. Some dangerous looking potion. This is from Strangerville. Perfect in a Slytherin common room. Oh, and what are you... Ooh, that's cool. It's... Oh, look at the cursed object on the bed. I love this. Oh. Yanni, this is so cool. See, I want to be in Slytherin even more now. This has just made me want to be in Slytherin even more. Any of you guys in Slytherin? Go let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we've only got one more common room to find. I've not found it yet, but we need to find Hufflepuff's common room. And there is another corridor here. Oh! <gasps> It's the bathrooms! Oh my gosh! It's the bathrooms where Moaning Myrtle lives. So, here, do, is there any little hints? Any hints at all for Moaning Myrtle? Guess we've got some little bits bobs going on here. Maybe this is when they were making the Polyjuice Potion and Hermione accidentally turned into a cat. And then, of course, one of these sinks moves out to go down to... Is that where the Chamber of Secrets is? Or am I misremembering? I feel like this is a Chamber of Secrets. No way. <gasps> it is! And look, it's like a... It's look like, it kind of looks like little snacks. We've got the Chamber of Secrets. The movie, the little hints to the movie here are so incredible. I love it. I'm literally in the Chamber of Secrets and I got there through the bathroom. What? And speaking of other cool little Easter eggs, look what happens if... By the way, that water looks beautiful. Check out what happens if I pop under here. I looked there and then it linked me to this. The mirror we were talking about before. There is actually so much more to that. So I can go through this little closet here and into, what's that? A giant chest room. And then from there, into where the mirror is. Wait, does it go up again? <gasps> no, wait, I got just completely confused by a mirror there, didn't I? Wait, you've put a mirror in it? No freaking way. It's got a mirror in it. That's so clever. Okay, big uh, Philosopher's Stone hints there. Unless you're in America, which I think it had the Sorcerer's Stone, didn't it? But also, I missed a whole extra section here. And I think, is this Transfiguration? No. This is the one where you look into the crystal ball, right? Because we've got all the crystal balls on the tables. Which I always thought was up in a tower, but maybe I've remembered it wrong. But another classroom, guys. Another classroom. I honestly cannot remember the name of the class that this was, but they like looked into the balls and like looked at the teacups. Is there teacups on the table too? Yeah. There's teacups on the table too and they had to like interpret what their tea leaves meant. And I don't think um like they were particularly impressed by it, were they? Although she was right. She was actually totally right, the teacher. And actually from there, this is the room. In my head, I wanted to do this room first because when you do the Harry Potter tour, this is the first room that you go into. It's the Great Hall and instantly you're just like, Oh my gosh, this is really freaking cool. Cause it is, and it's just as cool in this. How long did it take you to hide, like put all these candles up? I'm literally so blown away. The floating candles, the table where the teachers sit, obviously where Dumbledore does his uh, speeches and whatnot. I'm wondering if there's a heart in here anywhere, like the sorting heart. I can't see one. But that would have been a very cool Easter egg. And then the tables where everyone sat. My school had like a hall like this, which is... I used to always pretend it was like the hall from Harry Potter. And also we had houses and they were the same colors. And I was actually in green, but mine was called Benstead. Okay, let's exit. The hall is like the one thing that slowed my PC down a little bit. So let's exit out of here. And into a hallway with some pictures. We've got through here... Ooh, oh, we're outside! But they obviously switch in between classes using these corridors all the time. Oh, and it's getting dark in game. So we're going to see the house all lit up as well, which is going to be really cool. But we've got to finish our tour first. This leads up here. What's going on up here then? Oh, wow. Oh, where am I? This. Oh, I'm in Hufflepuff! 
Hufflepuffs, I found your common room as well. Oh my gosh, you guys have a really cool entrance to yours. So we are now in the Hufflepuffs common room. I love that there's so many plants. <gasps> okay, is it too late to switch? Because this is very planty, which I really love. Like, look, look at their nice views as well. <gasps> Oh, your Hufflepuff just makes cool noise as well. Okay, I kind of low-key want to switch houses now. Just because this is so pretty. The plants, I didn't think this through, did I? I genuinely did not think this through. I mean, I'm a Gryffindor that wants to be a Slytherin, but should be a Hufflepuff. I'm just a whole mess. I am just literally a whole, whole mess. And there is also this little uh, chill-out room as well. <gasps> there you go, Hufflepuffs. We found you. you. Your people are here. You'll be safe. Okay, so some last little bits to show you guys. This is where the Ravenclaws were. But if I go up above this, I feel like this is Dumbledore office. I feel like you'd enter through here and then yeah, you're in Dumbledore's office. A few of these things could be, you know, the basin that he like puts his thoughts into. Honestly, a few of these could be those things because that's white, which is what the thoughts were, but that's like a globe, which is kind of the shape of it. But then that's a cauldron, which is more kind of what it was. So it could be any of these things, honestly. And okay. Yeah, I was really hoping there was going to be a bird in here because obviously he has a phoenix and the phoenix hangs out in his office, which is, you know, very big flex, I would say. So yeah, we are now in Dumbledore's office, which is so cool. There is a few extra little cute rooms as well. Like we've got a cauldron room up here, complete with like a bunch of uh, magical herbs. We've got like the super decorated towers and stuff as well, which just look absolutely amazing. <gasps> oh, okay. And there it is. I was looking for the clock because I'm pretty sure that is a nod to the Prisoner of Azkaban where they're turning back time. And I'm sure they're like in that in the film when Hermione is explaining how she's been changing time this whole time. And I'm pretty sure that's our whole tour now complete. Oh, wait, Herbology. I think this is the, oh, yeah, this is where you would do Herbology. So we've actually got like Herbology classrooms as well. So we've got the classroom inside the building. We had three classrooms. We had the crystal ball, the transfigure, no, transfiguration is where you change shape. Whichever the one we view into the future or like interpret your present, I guess. We've got Herbology and we've got the classroom inside as well. There is two Herbology greenhouses out here. Oh, view the stars oh my gosh so pretty and it's a shame Hedenford and Bugley isn't really providing us with well maybe this could be the forbidden forest there it is the forbidden forest right there and there it is guys Hogwarts by Juliet Builds now that was honestly as a Harry Potter fan I really, really enjoyed touring that. I hope you guys enjoyed me touring it too. Please let me know what your favorite part was. Don't forget, I'm going to drop a link in the description below so that you can check out the making of this incredible lot and also download it, give it a little tour yourself. You could even play your own Let's Play here if you wanted to do a Harry Potter Let's Play. Julia, thank you so, so much for letting me look through your gorgeous build. I'm literally blown away by how amazing it is. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.